Hello, third grade. How are you today? I hope you are fine. Well, today is Friday? No. Today is uh, Saturday? No. Is it Monday? No. It's Thursday, the 25th of June. And what's the weather like today? It's a cloudy day, cold day and windy day, yes? So, remember, activity books, pages 86, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92 and 93 hasta acá tiene que estar hecho, yes? We are going to check the pages now. Put a tick if it is okay, a cross if it is wrong, yes? Is it clear? Good. There we are. Page 86, ¿estamos ahí? Yes, good, good, good. Wait. Wait a minute, espera un poquito la teacher. Acordate que hoy me tenía que mandar, yes, a writing the diary, yes, acerca de la visit, the visit uh, of a place, yes, about the visit of a place, yes, of a special place, ok. Alright. Well done. Wait. Good. So pay attention now. Are you ready? Put a tick if it is okay, a cross if it is wrong. But uh, Hadrian's wall and mosaic, mosaics. Yes, mosaics. Okay. Good. Hadrian's, yes, okay, we have everything here. Yes, ahí te tenías que ir al texto, yes, okay. Mosaic, mosaic, yes. Good, well, ready. Bus, aquasai sulis, Hadrian walls, one three five kilometers, one hundred and thirty five kilometers long. Keep out the pictures, mosaics, mosaics on the floor have a lot of small pieces. Two. The modern name of Aque Sulis is Bas. Three. Where was Hadrian's wall? The wall was in the north of Roman Britain. Four, who was Hadrian? Hadrian was a Roman emperor. Five, where can you find Roman mosaic, mosaics? You can find Roman mosaics on the floor in Roman houses. En las casas de, in Romanas, yes? Que lindo debe ser eso, precioso. Number three, las palabritas. The Romans used the hot water for beautiful baths. Eso era lo que estaba en la, en, la, en la wall, in the wall, la palabra. Good. Exercise 2. No, esta página ni ahí. La 87 no. Va. 88. ¿Estamos? Yes, 88, porque la 87 no había que hacer. 88. 2. When you are not inside, cuando no estás adentro, ¿dónde estás? Inside, out, la clase, inside, outside. Number 3. Something you watch, of the, uh, you watch at a theater. ¿Qué vemos? Empezando con la S. Something you watch at the theater. Un sh show. show. Yes? Okay, good. Um, you write about your routine, about everything in it. Where you write about your things? Diary. Diary. 
Yes, okay. Adivina los dos en casa también. Yes, okay. When two groups of people don't like each other, it's a bad. Ay, dice Macarena. When they battle. fight, battle. Yes, okay. Good. When you finish first in a race, you are the winner. Winner. Well done. Okay. Repeat. Show. Hello. Diary. Diary. Battle. Battle. We. Ay, winner. Yeah. Yes. All right. Well done. Voy a jugar Handman también al ahorcado. Con esto, si estaban acá, vamos a jugar. Yes. Okay. Good. Two. True or false. Dale. Vamos. Come on. True. true. Number two is true. Number three, false. Number four, false. Number five, true. Number six, false. False. Okay? Let's go to page 89. Page 89. Two. Exciting. 30. Three. Boring. Three. Four. Dangerous. Y eso era lo único que teníamos que hacer ahí. Yes? Vamos. Page 90. Page 90. Good. Number one. One. Repeat at home. Los verbos quiero que los repitas, ¿eh? Poner en brack, en pared, en los verbos en past, los que estaban en paréntesis. En este caso, regular o irregular. ¿Cuáles son los que llevan ed? Regular. Regular. Ok. Dale, vamos. Start it. Start it. Used. Used. Clay. Clay. Perdón. Start it. Perfect. Use. Use. Jewelry. Jewelry. Didn't use. Didn't use. Acordate que cuando está el didn't, el verbo va en infinitivo, sin ed, como está en la primera columna de verbo. Iron. Iron. Worked. Worked. Stopped. Stopped. Didn't play. Didn't play. Skipped. Skipped. Painted. Painted. Jewelry. Tied up. Tied Eso up. es una de tied. No es tight. Tied. Porque ya preparan, por eso son, en los sonidos suenan P, eh, digo, en este caso no explosivo. T, T, V, D, and E, D. Started, E, D. Played, D. ¿Está? Watched, T. D, E, D, D, E, T. Yes, ya se prepara la boca para tied it up. Finished. Repetition. Finished. Ring. Ring. Necklace. 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 Yes, okay. So you have a necklace, un collar. You have a ring, un anillo. And you have a bracelet and a watch. Yes, okay. Bracelet, un brazalete. Yes, number two. Ah, este, Roman Costume Workshop. Ahí tenías que hacer como que te ibas a un, wor un workshop, como el de arriba. We arrived at, ¿a qué hora arribaron al, 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 cómo es que se dice? Al workshop, al taller. At eight le puse yo. Vos le pones en lo, la hora que sea. First we used, y te daba los, arriba los materiales. We used iron, le puse yo, to make some helmets. We worked for three hours, trabajamos por tres horas. And then we stopped. Y el verbo tiene que estar todos los verbos. We worked, trabajamos, we stopped for three hours. Dale, vocal, vocal, vocal. consonante, duplico la consonante, más fuerte, duplico la consonante, duplico la consonante, ¿eh? ¿Ok? Good. Well, um, bueno, yo puse, we worked, trabajamos for three hours, then we stopped, paramos, for one hour, acuérdate que es por una hora, for one hour, y puse, we had a snack, ¿sí? ¿Qué quiere decir had a snack? A snack, comimos algo, ¿sí? We had a snack. We finished at one, my helmet, porque era para eso que yo cogí al taller, the iron, iba a ser un... Iron Helmet, was very beautiful and cool. ¿Qué quiere decir cool? 
copado. Yes? Ok, page 91. Estamos ahí. 91, seguimos. Ring, shield, repetition. Ring, shing, helmet, necklace. Number two, iron, clay, stone. Acordate, iron, eh, hierro, stone, eh, piedra, eh, y eh, después tenemos el otro, clay, arcilla. Eh. Three coins, four jack, repetition, jack, yeah. jack. Walls and mosaic, 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 mosaic. Yes, bien exagerado ahí. Number two. Y ahí tenés que poner, ahí va ahí a ser vos los eh, elementos que pusiste, ¿sí? Eh, can you think of more words for each category? Tenés que agregar más de las cosas que usamos. Yes, a tie, ¿qué más? A handkerchief, yes, ok. Todas las cositas que usamos. En el 2, la co cotton, por ejemplo, sería otro material, algodón. Yes, plastic. Yes, ok. Number 3, I can play with wool. Yes, I can play with, ¿con qué puedes jugar? With the dolly. Yes, ok. With the, ¿cómo se diría? ¿Cómo se diría cuerda de saltar? Rope, with the rope. Yes, ok. Number 5, around my house there are, ¿y qué hay alrededor de tu casa? Around my house there are trees, ¿qué más? Cars, yes, ok. I can decorate my house with, ¿qué? ¿Con qué puedes decorar tu casa? With pictures, yes, with flowers, ok. Let's go to exercise 3. Stopped, repetition, Stopped. used, used. Need it. Need it. Fa for, Need it. Five. Lift. Five. Lift. Arrived. Arrived. Visited. Visited. Started. Started. Okay. Answer the questions. Okay. Did, vos me decís, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Okay. Did you arrive late at school last week? Yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. Con más ganas. Vamos. Did you use your pencil to do activity one? No, I didn't. What time did you start school last Monday? What time did you start school? At seven. I started my work I started, at eight. Are you? I started my school at uh, one o'clock. One o'clock. Half past one? Yes. Okay. Half but, one. Yes. Y media entran ustedes. Yes. Did you work hard last week in your activities? Did you work hard this week? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Ok, good. 92, vamos a la página número 92. Y ahí tenés que hacer toda la traducción, los materiales. Lo que ya estuve diciendo, stone, piedra, iron, eh, acero, yes, ok. Iron man, yes, ok. Uh, clay, arcilla, yes, ok. ¿Qué más tenés? Toda la traducción que siempre te queda como una hoja. De vocabulario. ¿Es el que Entonces tenés clay, arcilla, stone, piedra, iron. Está, tienen todo, 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 todo. ¿Está? ¿Es el que Yes. All right. Ok. You have hierro, then después tenés los verbos llegar, vivir, necesitar, comenzar, parar. Estos son verbos re fáciles para vos, ¿ok? Después tenés monedas, casco, joyas, jarra, mosaic, mosaico, necklace, ring, anillo, yes, shield, escudo y wall pared. Y abajo completamos el cuadro del de pasado. Didn't, wash, did. Yes, yes I did, no I didn't. When did you? Yes, ok. ¿Es it clear? Completar que te quede el cuadrito bien completo. Te dicto los números, dale, para que te quede. Number two. 
Are you ready? Yes. In the grammar? Two, wash. Three, like. Did you like those cupcakes? Four. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. El cuatro didn't. Yes? Yes or no? Yes. Y después tenés did. When did you play basketball? Acordate. Siempre hay un fin de work. Acá prestar atención, por favor. Play, pay attention. Comer. Eat. El pasado de comer. Eat. Ok. Uh, ir. Go. El pasado. Went to. Ok. Um, visitar. Visit. The past. Ok, um, cantar, sí. past, mm. sang, mm. yes, ok, good. Entonces, yo te voy a hacer yes, no questions que van a comenzar con did, como en presente, do you cook, do you play, do you watch, yes I do, no I don't. Y en el pasado vamos a comenzar con did, did you... Did you ate? Did you ate? Yes. No. Oh. Did you eat pasta? Ok, ¿por qué? Porque cuando está el did, el verbo tiene que ir en infinitivo. Esto es el infinitivo. Guardate este y esto es el pasado. Este video, yes? Ok. Did you eat pasta? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Otra, dale. Sing a song. Last weekend. Last weekend. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Okay. Entonces, did you eat pasta yesterday? Last Monday? Last week? Last uh, weekend? Last year? Last Moms. Vamos a repetir todo en casa también y hacete con esta lista los verbos. Porque el error común del pasado es que querés decir Did you ate? Did you went? Ta, 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 ta. Mortal. No va, ¿eh? Did you eat? Did you go? Did you visit? Did you sing? Dale, punto. Vamos, come on. Did you eat? Dale, come on. Did, did you, you eat pasta yesterday? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Vale. Did you eat... No canto tanto para decir esto. Did you eat pasta? Come on. Did, did you eat pasta? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Did you go to Bariloche? Repetition? Yes, I did. No. Repetition. Did you go to Bariloche did last Monday? Last Monday. After the teacher, Aldana, please. Did you visit Miami last month? Did you visit Miami last month? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Okay. Did you sing a beautiful song last weekend? Question. Come on. Did you sing a beautiful, sing a beautiful song last weekend? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Lo mismo practicate en casa. Eso sería una yes, no question, porque se responden o yes o no. No. Perfect. Ahora vienen las W question, que tienen que seguir Siempre un pattern como las otras. What? When? Yes, ok. What o when? Pay attention, listen. W, porque comienzan con W, por eso se llaman W question. What did 
you eat, perdón que borré esto, pero estoy apurada. What did you do last, pa, 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 yesterday? What did you eat yesterday? I ate pasta. What did you eat yesterday? I ate. Porque acá te pregunta, ¿qué comiste? Ojo. Doble D, repetition. Doble D. Auxiliar. Auxiliar. Sujeto. Sujeto. Verbo. Verbo. WH. WH. Auxiliar. Auxiliar. Subject. Subject. Verb. In verb. infinitivo. Esto quiere decir en infinitivo, ¿yes? Cuando respondo, yo sí voy a responder. I ate pasta. I cooked a cake. O con ED o la segunda columna. What did you eat yesterday? I ate pasta. What did you eat yesterday? I ate um, empanadas. Empanadas, ok. What did you eat yesterday? Contesta en casa. I ate ta ta ta. What did you do yesterday? Pay attention. What did you do yesterday? I um, studied English. What did you do yesterday? I taught, uh, did my homework. You did your homework. She did her homework. What did your mother do yesterday? She cooked pasta. What did your father you do yesterday? He watched TV. Entonces, W auxiliar, en esta parte del sujeto va a ir cualquier subject. What did your mother do yesterday? What did your mother and your father do yesterday? They watched a film. Yes? Or Netflix. Yes? Is it clear? Yes or no? Good. Esto no se tienen que olvidar. W H más auxiliar, más sujeto, más verbo. Si la pregunta dice, what you do yesterday, ¿en qué tiempo me está preguntando? Ah, yesterday me dijo, pero se olvidó el auxiliar. Entonces, ¿qué me quiso preguntar? What do you do? O what did you do? What do you do? Si yo te pregunto, what do you do? ¿En qué te está? ¿Present simple o past? Present simple. Y si te pregunto, what did you do? Present past. Present past no existe ese tiempo, en tu mente y yes. What did you do? Um, what did you do? Last Sunday. Yes. What tense is it? Present or past? Past. ¿Y cómo te diste cuenta? Si yo te digo, what did you do? Por el did. Por el did. Que es el auxiliar. ¿Ok? Is it clear? Good. Pilar se ríe ahí de ese chiste de Alana, que siempre se ríe. Ok. Good. So pay attention now. Let's go to the picture. Ahora tengo una picture preparada para ver si es que... Estás uh, llegando con esto. Qué lindas piches que nos prepara la teacher, ¿eh? La teacher Nicole hace caso a todos los caprichos que le pide la teacher Ruth. Ok, muy bien, así se hace. Eso es trabajar en equipo. Yes, ok, good. Espero que me hayan mandado lindas cosas de diary. Las nenas que por ahí tienen... Eh, las páginas de... ¿Cómo es? Ay, pobre soldado. Pobre soldado. De los diaries. Ok. We are going to practice. What did you do? ¿Qué hiciste? El Monday, el Tuesday, el Wednesday con un cuadro. Ahora te pregunto. A ver, presta atención, eh. Stand up. What did you do last Monday? I cooked pasta. I played... Piano. What did you do last Monday? Preparate porque voy a hacer así. Teacher, Aldana, vos. Teacher, Aldana, you. Ok. Uh, what did you do last Tuesday? I visited my friend. Le cuento nomás porque estamos en cuarentena. I visited my friend. I visited my friend too. No, change the verb. Don't I ate it. pizza. I ate pizza. What did you do yesterday? Ah, you jumped the rope. Ah, you cooked pasta. Ah, you listen to the radio. Ah, you did your homework. Okay, good. So, 
So pay attention. What did Mary Mary do? What did Mary do on Tuesday? What did she do on Tuesday? She She um Stand up, darling. A letter. Wrote a letter. Wrote a letter. Yes. Wrote a letter. Mm -hmm. No. She drew a dinosaur. She drew a dinosaur. No, viste bien que está dibujando. Okay. What did um? What did my parents do? What did my parents do? They watched TV. They looked after we. Us, so they said. They look after us. They look after us. Okay, so now that, let's repeat. Let's repeat. What did, um, what did they do yesterday? They played. They eat sandwiches. They ate a lot. They, they ate, ate sandwiches. sandwiches. Okay? Good. So pay attention now. Ahora solo la teacher. What did she do yesterday? She listened to music. What did he do yesterday? He read a book. Yes? Is it clear? Good. When did, when did she, when did Mary, where is that Mary? When did Mary... When did Mary listen to music? She listened to music last, voy a decir last porque es el pasado, last Thursday. When did, Alana, esto para vos, when did Tom, when did Tom, uh, when did Tom drink coffee? Saturday, dice, está chiquitito. When did he drink coffee? He drinks. In the past. He drank coffee in Saturday. Last Saturday. Last Saturday. Last Saturday. Acabo de decir. Yes. Last. El pasado. Okay. Otra más. When did um, my parents watch TV? Sunday. Está tapado, ¿no? They watched. They watched. When? Last Saturday. Sunday. Sí, estamos marcando Sunday. Yes, ok. Is it clear? Good. So, this is a W question. Yes. What did you do la sabes de la, del año pasado? ¿Qué hiciste? Pero no me contestes I watched, sino I watched. What did you do? I ate. What did you do? I played. What did you do? I read. Usamos la segunda columna de los verbos o le agregamos ed si es un verbo regular. Regular son los verbos que se les agrega ed para hacerlos en pasado. ¿Está? Ok. Good. When did you? Y ahora se agrega en vez de what did you do, when. ¿Cuándo hiciste todas estas cosas? When did you cook? I cooked pasta last Sunday. When did you study? I studied English last Tuesday. When did you? Practicate así como yo, con una... When did you play football? I played football last weekend. Yes? Okay. Ahora sí. Pages 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, and 7, and 5. Yes? Todas estas del class book. Y del activity book, me vas a poner las pages. 94, 96, de la activity 94, 96 and 97. ¿Está? Vamos a ir primero al activity book porque tengo que hacer unos listening de ahí. Activity book pages 94. Are you in the activity book? We are going to go to the activity book first. 94, 96 and 97. 94, 96 and 97. Acordate que hoy vimos qué hiciste y qué haces. ¿Qué? ¿Qué hiciste y cuándo lo hiciste? No te olvides de conjugar los verbos, ¿ok? I visited 
my friend. Yes? Okay, 94, 96, and 97. Is the date there? Yes? 94, 96, and 97. The date. Yes? Okay. Yo sigo. No espero, eh? Okay. Listen and complete. Voy a la activity book primero. 94, 96, 97. 94, 96, 97. Okay, the teacher mientras estaba anotando una cosita. Yes, okay. Well, uh, when did you visit your friend? Ah, I visited my friend last weekend. When did you eat pasta? Ah, I ate pasta last Monday. Is it clear? Te das cuenta que yo pongo el verbo en pasado. Yes? Yes, teacher. There we are. Come on. Exercise three. Unit eight. Aldana, when did you go to Mar del Plata? When did you go to Mar del Plata? I did it. When did you go to Mar del Plata? When? Yes. When did you go? Can you complete the question, please? The answer. I. I went to. Muy bien. I went to Mar del Plata last December. Yes. Is it clear? When did you visit? Uh, when did you visit your cousins? When did you visit your cousins? At, uh, when did you visit your cousin? Este es el error I común. Shh, shh. Wait, wait. Este es el error común porque me sirve justamente esto. Cuando preguntamos, ah, last Monday. Y el resto de la frase, yo visité, yo fui a tal lugar y tal. Ok. Repeat. When did you visit your cousins? I visited my cousins um, last weekend. No, last month. Last month. Ya hace un mes. Yeah? The cousins, the twin cousins, the baby cousins. Oh, they are so cute. What is cute? Pierna. Okay? Good. Recording. Let, read the sentences, please, darling. Number three. Listen and complete. Big kids, Scott. Vicky's got an invitation. Two. Read. Read the sentences. Vicky's got, Vicky's got an invitation. Two. Two. Eso no dice. Mi amor, read the sentences. Read the sentences. Mucha tarea, eh? Okay. Vicky's got an invitation. Two. Quiero que lea las frases from one to five. Come on, darling. Here, my darling, here, here, here. Vicky's got an invitation. To. To. Read the sentences. It's for Paul's birthday. Three. Ah, oh, it's for Paul's birthday. Three. Vicky can wear, can wear a... Four. They can play party. Five. They can go to the... In town. Ready? ready. Steady. Cuando dice la dice ready, no puede estar el alumno. <laughs> no. When I say ready, steady, go. Yes? Okay. Come on. Three. 
Listen and complete. One. Hi, Dad. Look. What have you got there, Vicky? It's an invitation. Two. Oh, it looks very nice. What is it for? It's Paul's birthday party. He's one of my best friends at school. And how old? For, it's for Paul's birthday party. How old is he? He's ten. Next. How old is he? Oh, ten. Sunday. Three. What kind of party is it? It's a fancy dress party. We can wear a costume. We can wear it. It's a fancy dress party. We can wear a costume. We can wear a... Costume. Costume. This brass. We can wear a costume. Yes. Están arriba las palabritas. Para los que hicieron las tareas, las homework. Esto es un repaso. And what are you wearing? I'm wearing my new vampire dress. I'm wearing my new... I'm wearing my new vampire dress. Vampire dress. Vampire dress. Se va a ir vestida de vampirina. I'm wearing my new vampire dress. Vampire dress. Vampire dress, okay? Yes or no? Yes. Wow. Four. The invitation says we can play a lot of party games. Wonderful. You like party games. We ga can play party yes. games. Games? Yes. I'm so excited. Five. But do you know the best of all, Dad? Tell me. That we can go to the fun fair in town. Lucky you. We can go to the fun fair. Yes, fun fair. Yes, okay, good. So now we go to 96, página 96. Listen and tick. Yes, listen and tick. Are you ready? Unit 8, recording 6. Listen and tick. 1. Yesterday it was very sunny and hot, so we went to the park. We played a lot of different games and we ran a lot. We were very thirsty. We drank a lot of water. We didn't drink lemonade because you get thirstier. What did they drink? They drank... Water, yes, okay, good. Number two. Two. Yesterday it was jobs day at school and we dressed up. Dressed up, what is dressed up? Te disfrazas? At first I wanted to wear a vet costume, but Sally wanted to be a vet too. So I wore a pair of black trousers a white shirt, and I had a tray with drinks. Okay, what did she wear? Black? Trousers. And a white shirt. So it's A or B? B. B. First, she wanted to be a bed, but a friend of her was a bed, so for not repeating the costumes, she wore, el pasado de wear, is wore a, a white shirt and black trousers. A perfect waitress costume. Three. Last month, my family and I went to an exciting party. But it wasn't a birthday party. The bride wore a beautiful dress and the groom wore a smart suit. The wedding cake was delicious. We had fun. Okay, so she went to a party or to a wedding party? Wedding. So we have the bride and the groom. Chan, chan, cha, chan. 
David was the groom and teacher Ruth was the bride. Yes, okay? The groom and the wife, the, the groom and the um, bride. Yes, bride is novia and groom, novio. Yes, is it clear? Good. And now I want you to go to the, uh, pay attention, look at the board. Vamos a repasar, y esto te los tenés que estudiar haciendo repeticiones en tu cuadernito. Pay attention. Ready? Okay. Ordinal numbers. First. First. Second. Second. Vos tenés el número, el primero es first. Mira la terminación. First. Cuando yo ponga primero de abril, por eso se pone first. Is it clear? Cuando yo pongo 2 de abril, voy a poner second, porque la terminación del segundo es second. ¿Está? ¿Yes? yes. Por eso pongo ND. Teacher. Cuando pongo, wait a minute, third, cuando pongo tercero, voy a poner tal. Por eso vos decís, I am in third grade, porque estoy en tercer grado. Cuarto, fourth, vamos a repetir, yes, your question? Um. La teacher cuando era chiquitita, teacher, ¿por qué se pone RD? Y la teacher alta le decía, cuando sea más grande le vamos a explicar. Ahora se me bueno, me... ahora Valentina te llegó el momento, que sos viejita, <risa> ¿yes? ¿Ok? Good, de lo que se acordó Aldana. Entonces la terminación de los números ordinales va a determinar esto que lleva ahí. 25, ay, este virus, virus. Ok, por ejemplo, hoy es 25, 25th, yes, 20 se escribe igual, pero esto se cambia, 25th, ¿está? Entonces es 20, te escribo más grande acá, 25th, fifth, fifth, mm, por eso es the fifth avenue, la quinta avenida, yes, in New York. Yes, vamos a repetir, vale, first, first second, second, third, third fourth, fourth, fifth, fifth sixth, sixth, seventh, seventh eighth, eighth, ninth, ninth, una, termina con una Z, ninth, ninth, ninth tenth, 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 eleventh, eleventh twelfth, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, todos esos son de H, 15. hasta acá, vamos, twenty first, y después viene, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, yes, y después 30, 30s, 31st, 32nd, está, esto te lo tenés que estudiar escribiendo de memoria para memorizarte, de, haciendo las repeticiones, está, these are the ordinal, ordinal numbers, ok, ahora sí, vamos al activity book, page 97, página 97, 97, Come on, are you there? Yes. Yes, teacher. Unit eight. Read the statement, Alana, please. Listen and match. When is it? When is your birthday? My birthday is on the twenty second. Of September. Wait, todavía no te pregunté. Wait, wait, wait. No te apures. Ya te voy a preguntar. Wait. My birthday, my birthday is 22nd of September. Is it clear the 
22nd of September. When is your birthday, Alana? My birthday. My birthday. Birthday. My birthday. It's. Mm. A ver, el error de Alana es este. My birthday. A vos también te pasa, eh, Tobias, a veces. It's. Is. Solito. A ver. My birthday is. On, este on, on the, the first, on the first, first, Este ejercicio se no, puede sacar en no, la... no, 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 no,
Ya no, perdón. Ya, Mari, ya me contagió mi hija. Ok. Bueno, es contagioso, contagious. Yes, ok. Ahora sí, vamos a la página rapidito del book. Yes. A hundred. Bye bye, unit seven. Bye bye, unit seven. Hello, unit. Bye. <laughs> Sorry, Bye bye, unit seven. Hello, unit. Hey, oh my god. Esto parece, no se ve en la clase, algo cómico. Bueno, menos mal. Yes, Valentina se está riendo ahí también. Ok. Que siempre se ríe de los chistes de Aldana. Good. Well, so pay attention now. Let's celebrate. Let's go here. Yes, ok. Are you there? Good, good, good. Ya están puestas las fechas, si no, para el video. Y yo voy con el ritmo también, chicos. ¿eh? No es que voy lenta, ya saben ustedes. Ok, good. Vamos a leer las preguntas. Alana, aquí te cuestión. What, what doesn't... What doesn't belong in the picture? Ok. When eating at the party, what water is worth by missing? Ok. So, pay attention. What doesn't belong in the picture? Que no va, que no pega ni con cola. What are the children eating? What are the children eating? And what water sport can you see? Ok, encontraste The book held by band member. No tiene nada que ver el libro que tiene... El, mira la banda, the member of the band. ¿Viste la banda? In the middle of the picture. He's holding a book. Nada que ver. Uh, what are the children eating? Vamos a la party. En la fiesta. They are eating... A cake, cupcakes, cupcakes sandwiches, cake, sandwiches crisps, crisps, water and water. Lemonade. lemonade. What water sport can you see? A ver qué water sports tenemos. Ah, ya encontré. Windsurfing and, and sailing. sailing. No, canoeing no. Sailing and windsurfing. No, yes. No, sailing. Yes. Ah, sí, el otro es windsurfing con el viento. Yes, ok, good. Listen, listen, taran, taran, taran. And repeat, vocabulario, ya te dije bright and groom también. Highlight, por favor, ya sabes que vos tenés que estar, antes que te diga la teacher, subrayando todo. Unit 8. Let's celebrate. Recording 1. Listen, point and repeat. Fun fair. Fun fair. Big wheel. Big wheel. La rueda de la fortuna. Roller coaster. Roller coaster. Fun fair es la feria. Band. Band. Wedding. Wedding. Roller coaster. I like the roller coaster. Bride. Bride. Tan 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 tan. Groom. Tan 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 tan. Invitation. Invitation. Party. Party. Party games. Party games. Costume. Costume. Disfraz. Party hat. Party hat. Listen to a story. Unit eight. Unit eight. Recording four. Listen and read. Okay. The lost ring. ¿Qué se perdió? The lost boy was Martin. No, Martin. Eh, no, este es otra historia. Tengo un nene perdido. Sí, había un nene perdido en su historia. Eh, I don't remember his name. John. The boy in the wheel, John. Yes, okay. Ya de tanta historia que tiene la DJ. David, no. The lost boy. Well, how many wedding words? Fíjate las wedding words que vas a encontrar ahora acá en la historia. Eh? Y andas subrayando las wedding words que serían uh, a bride, a groom. Yes, okay. Palabras de boda. Eh? Invitation. The lost ring. Were there fun beds when you were small, Granny? Yes, there were. 
I love fun fairs. Me too. So we're at a fun fair. Look, there's a wedding. Where did you get married, Grandad? We didn't get married in Barhaven. We got married in Oxford on the 31st of July. Then we had a party in a cafe. Wee, 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 Okay, tenemos enleados, tenemos wedding, que es una palabra de, de wedding, de boda. Y tenemos party también, eh, porque en una wedding es una party. with my metal detector. Detector. That's great. But can you find things quietly? Bleep, 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 bleep. What is metal detector? Un detector de metal. Yeah. Bleep. Granny, bleep. have you still got your wedding dress? Yes, I have. Do you? Another word, wedding. Wedding dress. Wedding dress. Un vestido de novia. Want to come and see it? At Granny and Grandad's house. Wow! What a beautiful dress, Granny. I wore this dress at our wedding. Your Grandad gave me a beautiful wedding ring. We drank and ate delicious food. The band played and we danced. The next day we went to France for two weeks. Oh, that's very romantic. France, okay. Paris, oh my God. Well, so uh, we have a wedding ring. That's it, on an yes, okay. También highlighted. But in France, we lost the jewellery box with your wedding ring in it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Jewellery box. Esa no es una palabra, pero también de boda, pero quiero que subrayes. Jewellery box es una caja donde va toda la... Bijutería. La bijutería. What was your ring like, Granny? Did it have a lot of jewels? No, Bleep. it didn't. Bleep. There wasn't anything on it at all. What's that noise? What's this? That's my jewellery box. Wow, after all those years, well done, Discovery Team. Okay, did they find the jewellery box in the end? Yes, they did or no, they didn't? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Sabían que eso se había perdido cuando viajaron a Francia. The grandfather thought that they lost the wedding ring in France, but it was in the house. So, thanks to... Uh, ¿Cómo se llamaba el robotcito? Um, Boo. Boo. Yes, okay. So, now we are going to circle the correct word. Here, the correct word. Yes? A. They find, hacemos punto, dale. They find the jewelry in the box, in the bag, or in a bowl? In a bowl. In a? Box. box. Number two. Bo is looking for stone, metal, or clay? Metal. Metal, because he has got a metal detector. The children are in the park at a wedding, fun fair, or party? Wedding. The children. Oh, fun fair. Fun fair. Yes. Randa tells the children about the lost wedding necklace, sh shield ring. or ring? Ring. Granny and Randa got married in Barhaven, Oxford or Paris? Oxford. Granny takes out her wedding shoes, dress or hat? Dress. Dress. Bye bye this page. Good. So let's go to uh, look back in the sentences. Miremos atrás en las frases a ver cómo nos va. Are you there? Good. So, 
We got married in Oxford. The next day we went to France for two weeks or in France we lost the jewelry box. ¿Qué es lo que está mostrando en esa picture? The next day... We got we... married in Oxford. No. Cuando ella hace así. The next day we went to The France. next day we went to France for two weeks. ¿Ok? Todos los cuadritos gramaticales como el vocabulario más be highlighted. ¿Yes? Porque es todo lo que practicaste hoy con la teacher cuando te presenta los temas. Entonces, estos dos y esto también, yo lo subrayo ahora porque tiene que estar súper bien subrayado, ¿está? ¿Yes? El cuadrito también con los números ordinales. Los tenés ahí. Study, eso se lo tienen que estudiar. Acuérdate que es for, mira, for, escribís for y le agregás la TH. Seco no porque te tenés que estudiar, pero a partir de four, ojo con fifth, no es five, eh, fifth, seven, escribí seven y le agregás la TH, ¿está? Tiene su trampita para que cuando uno lo repasa, esto es lo que le tienes que estudiar escribiendo los o mirándolos, depende de la memoria que tengas vos. Cada uno tiene que apuntar a la memoria que tiene. Si tiene memoria visual, ¿eh? hace cartelito. ¿Ok? ¿Listen? Vamos, chicos, que nos queda poco, ¿eh? Unit 8. Recording 5. Listen and repeat. Repeat. Only listen and repeat. I wore this dress at our wedding. I wore this dress at our wedding. We didn't see the ring again. We didn't see the ring again. Circle the correct word. Yes? Okay? Read, Alana, please. Unit 8. Recording. Alice, see the correct word. Unit 8. I went or I made to a party? I went. Obvio, obviously, porque está el to. Went to a party at the weekend. I was, uh, it was my friend's post birthday party. My other friend's Mickey didn't go or didn't find. Because he was on holiday, didn't go. We wore or ate some cake. We ate. And we drank or ate lemonade. Drank. Sorry? Drank. Drank. Paul got... Or lost a lot of presents. Got. Got. Obtuvo. We went or we had so much fun. We had so much fun. Okay. Fun es diversión. Y funny, chistoso, eh? I had fun. <laughs> I am. Yes, funny. Yes. Okay. El funny es cuando eh, sos chistosa. Ay, es un chiste. Make jokes. Aldana is funny. Sometimes. Write the correct sentences. ¿Estamos? My sister ran to the shop this morning. My sister ran to the shop or ran to... The school. Yes. Tacho y escribo la palabra correcta abajo. Two. I saw a wedding in the square. I saw a wedding. I see. No, I saw a, y mira el dibujito, a fun fair, yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Mom and dad got married in London. In New York. New York. My teacher lost her wedding ring. My teacher? Lost her necklace. Nick o neck? Necklace. Neck. Acuérdate de cuello, neck. It happens to me one day, I, when I was in Mallorca, I worked in a very, very big school, big and ancient school, porque era una escuela muy antigua, así con esas escaleras, todo, tipo la de Harry Potter, mm -hmm. yes? And I thought that I lost my ring, and all my students helped me to find, to look for the ring, but then I was worried all the morning. I didn't find the ring at school, but when I arrived my apartment, I, I say, baby, I'm very sad. I lost my ring, my wedding ring. Oh my God, David said. But then I looked 
for the wedding ring and it was in my jewelry box. It was real, de verdad que me pasó esto, eh? Y tuve que venir todo el camino pensando que había perdido my wedding ring at school. And my students helped me. Los chicos me ayudaban a buscar por todas partes. Yes, and it was an ancient and very old school, yes, okay? It has, um, it had a very big room uh, with uh, like a cinema and I took all the students uh, for a theater play there, yes, okay? Good. Listen, point and repeat. Vamos a repetir los números ordinales, nos falta una musiquita y nos vamos, yes, okay? Ready? Unit 8, repeat. recording 7. Listen, point, and repeat. First. 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 Second. Second. Third. 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 Fourth. 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 Fifth. Fifth. Ninth. Ninth. Twelfth. Twelfth. Twentieth. Twentieth. Suena. Twenty-first. Twenty-first. First. Twenty-seventh. Twenty-seventh. Thirtieth. Thirtieth. Thirty-first. Thirty-first. Highlight charts, please. What? Highlight, repeat please, se dice, no se dice what, yeah? repeat please, o si no se dice pardon, ¿se acuerdan que les enseñamos eso? What did you eat at your birthday party? ¿Vieron todos los que practicamos hoy? Y también practicamos preguntas con when, yes, ok? Did she wear a party? Yes, she did, no, she didn't, yes, ok? Vamos a la song. Ah, vamos a hacer el los. Listen and write down the numbers you hear. Dale, prepárate porque vas a escuchar números a ver si podés hacerlo. Dale. Yo después los escribo. Yes? Ready? Vos tenés que escribir, eh. You have to write. Yo voy a hacer el primero a modo de Unit 8. Recording 8. Listen and write down the numbers you hear. 17th. Eighth. Twenty fifth. Third. Thirty first. Eleventh. Is it clear? Yes. Yes, ¿qué tal le fue? La teacher fue haciendo con usted, pero esto es muy buena práctica. When's your birthday? I know it's soon. It was yesterday, the 2nd of June. Did you have a birthday party? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Did you eat a lot of cake? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Did you get a lot of presents? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Did you play some party games? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Why not? Yes, it's así. Why not? Because I I had a broken leg. Yes? What is broken leg? Mm -hmm. Dale, vamos. Listen and sing. Say your birthday. Oh my. 
my leg because I have a broken leg, okay? Well, that is all. Yes, remember you have to do pages 94. Vamos a la página 94. 94. 94. Yes, look at Yuki's book page 100. Otra vez miras a la historia, encontrás y hacerle circulitos. Ya hicimos esto para precalentar el vocabulario. 95. After you read, otra vez put in who says what. Read and match. A ver quién dice cada de una de las palabritas y unimos con el número. ¿Está? Obvio que tenés que ir al book para revisar la lectura. Yes. Take the things you are lost in the, that are lost in the story. ¿Qué cosas se perdieron en esa historia? Correct the mistakes. Los que están subrayados, vos ya sabés que lo tenés que corregir con respecto al texto, porque es con respecto a la historia. O sea que necesitas ir a la historia que está en el class book. Values. ¿Qué values tenés? Vas a hacer ahí algunos de los values, valores. Number two. Yes, wait a minute. Number two. Yes, complete. Acordate que cuando está el did, didn't, el verbo va en infinitivo. Yes, ok. Y después dice Alex didn't drink. Hacemos en negativo. Sí, esa parte. Y después he drank water. Alice, a bad costume. Wear or didn't wear? ¿Usó ella el, el, el traje de veterinario o no? Wore or didn't wear? Didn't, didn't wear. wear. He wo she wore a waitress costume. Acordate que tenés que ir con respecto a esto. Yes? Write three, three, three things you did and three things you didn't do yesterday. Te doy ejemplo. I, no voy a poner I did cooked. Ojo con eso, ¿eh? Si hiciste tu tarea, sí tenés que poner I did my homework. Pero si quieres usar otro verbo, pones automáticamente el verbo que quieres usar. I cooked a cake. I did my homework. I watched TV. Alana, te tocan tres en pasado. Dale. I did my homework. I cooked pasta. I ate pasta. Ok, good. I didn't. I didn't play football, I didn't visit my sister, I didn't read a book. I didn't visit my cousins, I didn't go sailing, I didn't stay with my friends. Okay, I didn't stay or I wasn't with my friends. I wasn't. Porque I didn't stay no me quedé, I didn't stay at my friend's house, no me quedé en la casa de mis amigas, puede ser. Yeah? Okay. Vamos a escribir, como te dijo la teacher, la fecha que te dice arriba. Pero ahora con palabras, en letras. Te da el número, tenés que escribir en letras. Complete the questions and answers. Acordate que comienzan con did y cuando está el did, el verbo va en infinitivo. Happy weekend. Bye bye. See you next class.